Hey guys, thought I'd share a little bit of kind of what I did this year. So there's uh, one new project uh, that this video uh, will be the focus of. And uh, so it, it took a little time and engineering, but this is kind of what I got going on here. So I've got uh, Santa and, and three reindeer up there. And uh, I'll uh, kind of explain a little bit, but uh, I'll get this guy going. And, uh, and we'll get up there and take a closer look. So I've got them, got them rotating now. Um, it's, uh, it's on a display motor. Uh, bought that uh, motor from a Dynapack and uh, it's a two RPM motor, uh, gear drive anyways. And then, uh, so I've got Santa and the reindeer. Uh, I made the sleigh and, and the reindeer myself out of chicken wire on one end, and then I've got a counterweight on the other end. Um, and so it's uh, the span total from the counterweight to the sleigh is about 40 feet. And um, so let's go up there and take a closer look. So here we are up on the roof, and uh, got uh, Santa and his reindeer going around, doing their thing. It's an inflatable Santa Claus and presents in there to keep the weight down. And um, so then again, I've got, that's about 70 pounds counterweight that's on the opposite end of them. So I've got guy wire stretched uh, all over the place to keep uh, keep them stabilized. So let's take a closer look here. Uh, sleigh's got lights on it. Reindeer's got lights on them. That's the little pebble lights or whatever seed lights from my Amazon. Uh, I've got uh, the Ron 25 tower that I cut a section down that the motor is mounted to. And then made a angled base plate. Uh, there's no holes in the roof. This is all uh, laid out uh, on top of wood and then uh, have uh, the guy wire and support wires to uh, keep everything in place. So we're total probably 230 ish pounds total of everything. The uh, arm structures our uh, aluminum tubing going from uh, two inch down to uh, inch and inch and a half and I believe it's one inch on the no it's it's two and a half inch my but my apologies two and a half inch on the bigger uh, square tubing and towards center and then one and a half towards outside uh, of the arms where the Santa rotates from so, and like I said, I've got guy wires that stretch down uh, four different directions, actually, uh, to support the, uh, the tire. And then I've got the uh, uh, support wire for the base. And so I've got tools and stuff up here. Um, I did a little bit of adjustments the other day. The wind uh, can really do some some uh tweaking on this so i've got to got to uh, tie it down and so when you see uh wires and stuff like that or rope this is to tie it down when we have the real windy days here in oklahoma uh we can we can get wind uh, that weight right there on the guy guy wire is just to pull down the guy wire so that uh, nothing snags over you can see how close that counterweight comes over the roof and the guy wire so it's just stuff like that that uh, you learn as you go as you assemble it so this was all assembled in the backyard uh, on level ground and then assembling it up here piece by piece on the roof so I set this up by myself but had my son help me get the reindeer and, and the sleigh mounted on the arm there so I think that's kind of about all I can do without just rambling on. Um, again, 
you know, the support wire up there to keep the arms from sagging because all the weight. Uh, it's aluminum tubing. It's going to sag. Even steel tubing will sag. But you got to keep the weight to a minimum, especially, you know, putting it on the roof of your house. So hopefully that helps. But yeah, this was a new challenge this year. I'm going to beef up and get a stronger motor so the wind won't be such a factor. Beef up the uh, framing a little bit, the attachments, uh, so that the wind doesn't tweak it a little bit. So it's an it's, uh, adjustment here and there, but uh, we'll be good. So anyways, hope that uh, kind of sheds a little light on, on this uh, project that I conquered this year so all right well thanks a lot guys